What's up everybody? This is Bruce, aka Geektacular. And today we're going to be taking a look here at the brand new uh, game, card game that just came out. Um, this is Firefly, a uh, tall card. So if you remember Firefly, the TV show, uh, the sci-fi show, um, when they're in the, um, like the kitchen area, there's like the dining room table uh, in the middle of the kitchen area, in at least one episode, and I think it's actually shown a couple times, um, they actually are playing a card game um, called Tall Card. And you see them, like, with, with hands, um, and you see a few of the cards, and they have, like, they're kind of weird. Um, they're round, and they have, like, pictures of fruit and stuff on them, like apples and stuff. So you see a few of, like, the, the makeshift cards that they're playing with. Um, and you can tell that there is kind of, like, a rule set of some sort. Um, but you don't really get much information. They're kind of playing it in passing. Um, to sort of pass the time. And ever since I saw that, I said, wow, it would be awesome if they made, like, a real-life version of Tall Card, the game that they're playing. And I looked around, and of course, you know, it didn't exist. But last year, um, on Entertainment Earth, I saw that they had a pre-order up for somebody, this company, Toy Vault, actually making the game Tall Card, using um, some, some cards that are the replicas of ones that you see on the show, um, plus other cards, and then like a whole fleshed out rule system and stuff. So basically they took sort of the snippets of the, the card game that you kind of see in passing on the show, and they, they duplicated those as well as added a lot of other stuff and created an entire rule set for it, um, sort of that goes along with how they were playing it um, in the show. So that's a freaking awesome idea. So I went ahead and I picked this up. Um, it comes in just one box, one cardboard box, and I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic wrap off here. Um, you can probably get this from a few different websites. I got it off Entertainment Earth. Um, I've always had pretty good luck with them ordering collectibles like Funko Pops and stuff like that. Um, and they have a lot of sci-fi um, licensed stuff that um, can be harder to find other places. I don't know if it's exclusive to their site or not, but you can definitely pick it up there. So as you see, it's kind of a glossy um, card, hard cardboard box. There's the bottom. It's item 23006 from Toy Vault. I'll kind of show you if it will focus. I'll show you a little a little bit of close-up of the front of the box here. There we go. So, a picture of the whole crew there. Here's the side. This is the top, and this is the other side. So this one has uh, the actual ship on the sides there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back here. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, with rules and artwork taken from the game played by the crew, Tall Card will make you feel like you're a roughneck aboard a ship out in the black, just like in the show. So it has over 45 cards, um, including those those round cards that they actually show um, in the television show. Two to five players takes about 30 minutes. So you open it up. Here are all the sides the inside of the box. So there's a picture of them actually playing tall card on the show right there. Um, I won't read you all the rules and stuff because, you know, obviously there's a lot of rules. Um, but you pick certain ones. I guess the... let's see... Um, da -da 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 -da. The game ends after each active player has been dealer twice or when all players have but one have zero credits at the start of the next round. So I guess it, you start out with a bunch of credits and they count, they tick down over time and whoever uh, doesn't run out of the credits first wins, I guess. So here are 
all of the round ones, which are basically like what you see in the show. So that's me holding them. So they're a, a couple inches uh, in diameter. And let's see. So the backs of them are all identical. They'll have this backing here. Which, let me see if I can get it to focus on this. So it's kind of like this, um, they're all like glossy, hard cardboard. And this is sort of a Chinese, like a uh, Buddhist sort of uh, print right here. Um, and then the backs of each ones have sort of this, let me see if I can get it to focus again. They have the same pattern around all of them, um, but they have different symbols on them. A lot of them have Chinese characters because uh, Chinese is kind of like the secondary um, language in Firefly, if you haven't seen it. Uh, they kind of speak like, kind of like Spanglish, like English with Spanish peppered into it. Uh, they do the same thing in Firefly, except it's Chinese. Uh, they speak English with like Chinese phrases and stuff sprinkled in. So this is, I think, the one that is sort of the most recognizable from the show. Um, this is kind of one that you're able to see really clearly um, when they're playing tall card in the show. So that one is definitely there, along with a bunch of these other ones. And these all come in their own little protective um, bag here. So I'll probably keep them in there as well, just to keep them safe. Um, then here, so this is actually a little, um, it's like cardstock, like, um, business card thickness cardstock, um, and it unfolds, and this tells you, like, what, um, beats what. So I'm guessing it's sort of similar to poker, kind of, um, and each, each combination of cards has its own, like, colloquial name like a dancing couple or a dragon hootenanny. <laughs> um, and it tells you, so this is like, getting this card by itself is like the least, um, the least valuable. And then all the different, all other combinations are all ranked. And then the one at the top here, the Pretty Sisters, uh, which is all fives, is, is the highest, the most valuable. Um, so there's two decks in here. And I will go ahead and crack these open. Uh, for your benefit as well. So these are the same symbols as are on these round um, things, and these are just like glossy playing card style. Uh, this is the back. If I can get it to focus here. So that's the back. Basically the same design as the back of the round things. It's just um, the round ones are just like that part. So this one's just expanded. It has sort of a bottom half here. Um, so these are all glossy playing cards. Um, and these are basically like different suits. It looks like it goes from one through nine of whatever this green suit is, and then one through nine of diamonds. And there's a couple um, of each number. One through nine apples. Looks like there's two of each number, I guess. And then there's a green dragon, a couple of those, four red dragons, four white dragons. So that's uh, this deck. And then there's a second card deck in here, which has the same backing. And I think this is probably um, the same sort of deck, just with different suits, or maybe not. Um, so these are all, these have the same backing, um, the same sort of like Buddha backing, but these are all different. So Phoenix, Dragon, Tortoise, Unicorn, Dragon, Phoenix, Tortoise, Unicorn, Dragon, Phoenix, Tortoise, Unicorn, Dragon. Um, so there's like three or four of each of these, and then there's more of these one through nines. Um, this one only goes through eight of this spade, um, and then spade tortoises. So yeah, there's a lot of cards in here. I, like I said, it, it looks like there's like one through eight or nine of some suits. And then there's some of these um, creatures, like 
Uh, there's a heart tortoise and a heart unicorn. And there's also a dragon tortoise and a dragon unicorn. So looks like there's a couple different combinations of suits um, and numbers slash creatures, I guess. Um, but that's all I'm sure covered in the rules as well. <clears throat> um, so yeah. Uh, and then the, bo the inside of the box is just like plain cardboard. Uh, there's no like compartments or anything, it's just um, a, a big box. So um, it ships with these two decks like that. And this uh, gets folded up right there. And then you shove, this thing is a, like slightly wider than the box, so you just have to be careful when you shove it in. Um, and then the rules just kind of sit on top. And there you go. You have your very own, uh, your very own set of tall cards uh, with, you know, complete rules. You can play with your friends, two to five people. Um, really cool if you're into Firefly. A cool thing to be able to bust out and, uh, you know, play around with uh, some of your friends who are maybe Firefly fans. Blah, Firefly fans uh, or whatnot. Um, so that's it's a, it's really cool if you're into it. Um, I think I think you'll probably like it. I haven't played it yet, of course, but uh, maybe I'll play it and post a review or something like that. So yeah, um, if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And if you like these kinds of unboxings, if you like uh, Blu-ray unboxings, uh, anime, video games, all that kind of geeky stuff. Go ahead and click subscribe down below, and that way you'll get notified whenever I come out with any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.